The Waterloo, Ontario region has consistently been ranked as having one of the best performing economies in Canada. It's where Research in Motion's headquarters are located, and RIM is the city's largest private sector employer. But it's no secret that RIM has fallen on hard times. The company's stock has lost more than 50% so far this year. The BlackBerry Makers financial losses, coupled with big layoffs in the near future, have many asking how badly will the company's woes affect the community as a whole. Mike Kirkup is a former Research in Motion employee who's now with the University of Waterloo. He joins us from Kitchener, Ontario this morning. Good to have you with us. My pleasure. Thank you for having so me. So we had a RIM executive on, oh, I would say about a month ago, and I tried to get some numbers out of him as to how many jobs could be lost uh, in Waterloo. Uh, he wasn't specific, uh, but tell us what your thoughts are on that. Well, I think it's still very much in the up in the air in terms of how the market's going to decide uh, RIM's success in the future, especially as they plan out their strategy around BlackBerry 10. As RIM's noted, they're not going to be launching that product until early next year, and, and so there's several months left yet, but they lost 1,000 staff last year in July locally and, and up to 5,000 planned cuts uh, over the global company uh, this year as well, and so there's certainly some impact to be felt here in the community. Um, and that's why we're working so hard at places like Velocity to, to create new entrepreneurs. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So the Velocity is a program at the University of Waterloo where we're focused on helping students become entrepreneurs to build businesses right out of university. So they get that academic learning along with the experiential learning to help them become successful entrepreneurs when they leave. And the hopes are that we'll build the next rim or even many rims here in the Waterloo region. Yeah, you know, when a giant like RIM falters, there is a ripple effect. And that would mean, you know, smaller businesses would be affected. The service industry would be affected. Uh, tell us about that. Just what kind of a bite this could take out of the Waterloo economy. Yeah, I, I think we're already starting to see that. RIM's already cut back substantial costs. And there are many industries here locally that have been quite successful thanks to RIM, whether that was from landscaping companies to legal and accounting to transportation or even construction. And, and construction is probably the best example. Um, there was a huge boon here in the region as RIM grew so quickly and, and needed so much more space. They went from two buildings to over 20 in 10 years. And so you know, they're already starting to feel a little bit of the pinch as they look for work elsewhere. Within RIM, and, and you've got you know, uh, special insight because you work there for some time, there are those who've been specifically trained uh, on BlackBerry specific jobs. Uh, what might they do for employment if they're laid off? Well, I think, and that's, the, that's something that's really important is that, I mean, there's some incredibly creative and talented people at RIM, and they've been solving very difficult mobile focused problems, which is an incredibly hot market right now. And so, uh, you know, a lot of the people who are at RIM right now would be incredibly desirable employees at just about any company, uh, whether that's BlackBerry specific technology or the fact that they could learn new languages and, and new technologies to be able to translate those skills. It's one thing, uh, Mike, for us to look from the outside in and, and try to figure out what might happen to RIM and, and what the future might hold. Uh, but tell us what the mood is like in Waterloo, how people are feeling uh, about RIM's fate. I, I think it's with mixed emotions, to be honest with you. Um, part of that is the fact that people are a little nervous and cautious as they watch, as you say, one of the largest employers in the region struggle, and you know Canada's largest uh, research and, in, and development investor struggle, and you know really, frankly, a global company uh, based here in Canada. Uh, the flip side of that is that it's an amazing and special community. They rally around RIM uh, like you, you would imagine they should, whether that's you know highlighting through local radio station campaigns the fact that so many of the things that we value here in Waterloo, they're responsible for, from the Perimeter Institute to the Center for International Governance Innovation to RIM Park to the Regional Cancer Center. Uh, the effect and, and impact of RIM and its employees on the community is quite large. Good to talk to you, Mike. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.